This project aims to allow um, established and emerging notions of heritage mm. uh, to converge from quite disparate streams of experience on an individual level and a, and a sort of collective level. And culturally and creatively, um, and also from an academic uh, perspective, what do you think from your perspective, um, what benefit and value do you think this, your, kind, your, your specific involvement uh, um, as representatives um, of the, the National Army Museum can bring to this kind of diverse mix? I think um, the idea of heritage brings, well, certainly for me, conjures lots of different things, including um, brand, uh, British and British, uh, Britain and Britishness, um, even Anglomania, um, the ideas of sort of what we as, as Brits like to think of as ourselves and how we're perceived around the world, mm. as well as ideas of family heritage, perhaps um, how, how things might be passed down, how things are passed yeah. down into a museum collection, how yeah. museum collections look after mm. things that are old. <coughs> to um, ideas of made in Britain and, you know, um, ideas of how propaganda might have um, influenced some of that development. And so there's a huge amount of relevance and mm. I think it chimes massively with the collection that we have. Mm. Um, not only because it's an old collection and we're looking at, you know, we're looking at 300 years worth of, of changes in military costume, which inevitably dictated civilian fashion and how civilian fashion developed. Um, but also looking at fabrics, colours, um, materials, wall tweed, um, all of that was kind of uh, based on military need and utility. Mm. Um, and I think that, uh, you know, th there's, this, there's this whole revival in the sort of keep calm and carry on type um, mm. design and graphics and uh, clothing and everything. And that, that it has been something that's been prevalent in Very terms so. of our museum research, probably. Absolutely. I mean... The military has always been at the forefront of yeah. fashion. It, yeah. it had an amazing influence on civilian fashion right from you know the 1760s onwards. Um, and I think it's important to see that development of how it did influence civilian fashion. Um, you've only got to look at Beau Brummel and the Prince Regent and going back to those those people to see yeah. the influence Absolutely. that was, was had. And we were, we were laughing earlier about this uh, document that was released about the 10 heritage uh, iconic. Think, iconic heritage things in, in Britain and actually about eight of them are military um, based so Wellington boots. from wellies to um, trench coats to you know the suit the suit right. to reveres yeah. and turnbacks yeah. and uh, most of it it comes from in fact that intersection between military and civilian mm. life and that dialogue that has existed for 300 years and I think it's important to kind of root contemporary research in some of those ideas and it's difficult to access those ideas because a lot of those changes exist in army orders from mm. 1800. That's kind of boring and dry. But mm. actually, it's about bringing some of those ideas to life in, in practical examples mm. of, of those changes. Why changes occurred as well. Mm. You know, how that influenced um, fashion as well. What made things change. Why clothing had to change. Um, that's important, I think. And, and we have an amazing source of some of that. Absolutely. And without understanding the past, you can't really design for the future. You've got to know where things came from, yeah, how absolutely. they evolved. Yeah. Um, so and it's about rooting that contemporary dialogue and that contemporary development in mm. in places that that are kind of surprising and unique. So do you do you find um, that when people do access your resource and use um, um, and are exposed to your archives, mm. that they are often surprised by what they find and the kind of uh, history oh. behind things and Definitely. how things develop, how it connects to you know, modern life and modern products. Absolutely. Know. I mean, they're, they're always astonished. I remember the first um, lecturers and students who came, they just looked at it and just, we had no idea, no idea this collection was based here in London mm. in a military museum. It, right. It's astonishing because it's a collection of clothing you know, forget the military side, it's, it's actual clothing patterns mm. f over 300 years and they're, they're always amazed that they didn't know about this before mm. um, and it is, it is accessible, it is there waiting to be used yeah. and looked at. And it is about accessing that expertise as well, it's about accessing that knowledge which is rooted in the collection for us and um, Nat amongst others has huge expertise in that so um, it's about the collection and it's about centralising that collection but it's also about yeah. kind of gaining understanding and knowledge about the history mm. of fashion and the history of clothing, mm. which, um, you know, is, is a slightly different thing, but um, 
really enlivened by looking at the real thing and looking and there's nothing like looking at original source. Mm. I agree with you. We had a student from um, the Royal College of Arts and he came to look at a Coty and um, he said he, it was just amazing just smelling the item because mm. it had a, a strange odour to it of age and... I, lo I love that idea that yeah. things kind of hold meaning because the, they've yeah. been touched and worn and, and that's passed down as well so that's yeah. another idea of heritage maybe that yeah. he was, there's a heritage um, of things blown being away. worn. Mm. Absolutely, absolutely. And the whole, also we have a very, very big Indian Army uniform collection yeah. and you can see the cultures crossing over, how the British Army officers were copying the Indian Army officers right. and how the changes right. um, there moved and that's absolutely quite fascinating mm. to see. Yeah. And um, As well as the, uh, some of the more technical things like the mm. development of uh, khaki and camouflage and... Why it's developed. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Thank you.